mix in the paint, and now we begin. Who are we painting today? We're painting Q-Tip from a Tribe Called Quest. Yes. Okay. And we're going to go from darkest colors to lightest. A Tribe Called Quest. You only have one song. Oh, man. It would have to be Scenario, or can I... No. no. S scenario is a... Um, is a collaboration. It would have to be ele electric relaxation. That's mm -hmm. my song right there. Okay. Do you think art, or how do I say this, uh, actually physically painting on surfaces like you're doing will ever go the way like old school photography went to digital cameras? Or do you think there'll always be a lane for physical painting on? There's always going to, people always want, listen. When you paint something, it's a piece of the artist that goes into the painting. So there's always going to be a market for that. You know, but digital, it's an art form. Like, there was a long time when there was a pushback against art that was made in Photoshop. And now it's recognized as, like, it's art. You create it, it's art. So we have to, we have to respect the art on all levels. Reference images. <laughs> Yeah, I'm capturing all that. It's good. For your style, was it more you uh, just out the gate did what came to you naturally and then maybe like referenced people before you, generations before you, or did you study and then develop your yeah. style? The first thing I did is I just, I kind of like envisioned what I would like to see on the wall. And then I just went through a little history lesson. And I was just looking for historical figures that I thought were important, like in Queens, you know, and the music was important too. The music was like the hardest thing to choose from. You know, a lot of people in their proposals, they had 50 Cent and Nicki Minaj, but I wanted to do something more positive. Yeah. Do you feel every person should at least take an art class to see if it's something that's in them or just for more? Appreciation, or is it more just you don't know what it is meant for you to have to Listen, I think that everyone should pick up a pen and draw. When I was younger, one of my friend's fathers, he told his son, he said, if you can draw a square, a circle, and a triangle, you can draw anything. And those are the basic shapes that make up everything. So he was right, and I always tell people that. If you can draw a square, a circle, and a triangle, then you can draw anything. Hmm. And you'd be surprised how much progress you'll make if you draw a little sketch like once a day, believe me, like you'll be leaps and strides. But yeah, I think everyone should um, everyone should take an art class, a dance class, music, play the piano. There are actually studies that show that it helps the brain waves. Mm. Learning new things, pushing creative boundaries. Yeah. Is there different types of paint that uh, gives you better uh, outcomes for facial tones, or just a matter of mixing whatever you have? Yeah, it's just a matter of mixing. But for all the paints, I always get the primer and paint combined. It just holds better. It's like a better quality paint. And I'm going to do a little bit of this brickwork on this graffiti panel. Oh, yeah, this is official. I don't know if you can see. 
see some of this. Can you zoom in? Oh. We have we have some talented artists out here. Yeah, it's like a swipe through that. This is one of my my famous right there. That is that is crazy. What does that do for you, Eric, when random passerbys stopping me? Stop oh man, it's great. Listen, there's a camaraderie amongst the artists and it's a bond. Like it's like an unseen link that exists somewhere else and it just connects all of us. And it's like they feel it's like a beacon is sent out and the artists just come out and it's just cool. You you vibe off of ideas and it doesn't matter about the experience. You can learn something from a new artist and a a, a new artist can learn something from someone who's established. And you just trade off ideas and just build off that. But the art world, like when we come together, we're unstoppable. And that's the good thing. So we're doing it. He's doing a mural. I'll stop by and check out and see how the mural's coming out that he's doing. But you heard him. He said that he was, he got commissioned to do the mural and he's been dragging his feet because of the fear from going from paper to small canvas to a big wall. And um, yo, anyone can make that jump. It's paint. You can't go wrong with paint. If you make a mistake, just wipe paint and you just redo it. And sometimes mistakes is what makes a painting. So that's what it is. <laughs> All right, unscripted. Do you know who W.E.B. Du Bois is? W.E.B. Du Bois is a guy who was around during the Civil Rights Movement. And he was like, I guess helping. I think he was a guy who was really uh, strongly about education and he really wanted people to be educated and he just didn't want people to be like, you know, he felt that one way to fight all the racism was to be really educated about everything and be like a smart person. <laughs> See this? One youth at a time. <laughs> we are converting them. Where's justice? See, that's why his thing is education must not simply teach work because he wanted to rest his life. Okay. I gotta, every once in a while I gotta, I gotta make sure you guys are on point. Serious business out here. I'm here with Justice, yes. my trusted assistant, and we want to know what do you know about W. E. B. Du Bois? Oh, we're gonna educate you. All right, we're gonna we're gonna ask this question again tomorrow. All right, let me look up what he's doing. Okay, Tyler, Tyler knew. Got no it. phones. Yeah. You gotta go to the library. You get a book, <laughs> yeah. encyclopedia. Yeah, like 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 the good old days. Yeah. Yeah. No idea. Oh my gosh. The legacy. What about the legacy, man? Um, <laughs> what are we doing today? No, today is Naomi. Naomi Osaka's panel, the tennis player. Yes. <laughs> okay, yes. All right. When you're looking back and forth at the reference image, um, so my dad was famous for uh, yelling at my brother and I, like looking in the fridge, he would always say, what do you keep looking back in there, nothing's changed? Oh yeah. <laughs> is it, uh, what is it that you're going through your mind when you're looking at the reference image? Oh no, image? right now I'm just checking the shadows and highlights. That's the main thing I'm checking. And I'm seeing where the shadows cut off and where the highlights cut off. And if I have to make another color to bleed in, to bleed in between. Yeah. Because it always looks a little bit different when you put it on the wall. Eric, does this particular park hold any sentiment at all? You know, when I was younger, it was all about Camp Cool J. You know what I mean? Um, LL was like the biggest thing ever. You know, Mama Said Knock You Out, classic songs. Um, I was never a basketball player. I was always into my art. So, but I had some friends who went to Camp Cool J when they was younger. Like some of my people in my neighborhood or my block who were a few years younger than me, and they loved it. So, <laughs> is that different from the, the popular paintings of uh, Jackie Robinson? Yes, it's, this is a famous picture of Jackie Robinson, but it's just drawn in that cubist style, so he looks like immortalized. So he almost looks like a statue.
You painted the number 42 down there, or is that just how it's coming out? Oh, it's, um, yes, it's the 42, but the 2 is around his shirt, if that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah. Eric, can you complete this sentence? Yes. Eric Black completes his best work when... Oh, Eric Black what? Completes his best work when... At night. I'm a night person. Like, listen, I work during the witching hours. Three o'clock to seven o'clock, I'm on fire. Hey, is there ever a time when you painted something and you just said, like, this, this is not for sale, this is gonna stay private? Oh, yes, I have a ton of those that are in my personal archives. I can't let go. There wouldn't be a price in the world. You'd have to give me a million dollars for some of those pieces for me to let go of them. But we all have those pieces that we never want to let go. Is there a familiar feeling with each of them you know, or just each one is? It's just, you finish it, and then that next morning, you're like, I can't give this up. I have an art show, but I can't give this up. And you're praying at the art show that someone doesn't make a bid on it and then you just take it off the wall. Or sometimes you put the sticker on and act like someone brought it. <laughs> it happens.